So this is Brandon before he didn't ha have really any power. He didn't know how to get his energy into the ball because he was completely disconnected and wasn't using his momentum and his levers correctly. If I try to do this, I'm going to be inside the ball. I'm either going to get jammed or I'm going to go hook it. Now watch this. But if I keep shifting, look. Cross my face. See, because I, I haven't fired my hands. Now watch. When I go around my body. But I shifted. So we got Brandon connected. And as he got momentum, he's able to use that momentum to throw the barrel, to throw the bat, stay inside the ball through his weight transfer. Um, he's able to get lag. It looks strong because you're going across your body. And yet release the barrel at the right time and also have strong levers. So his levers were breaking down and he kept, uh, his arms were, were bending and they weren't folding, unfolding. So they came to me because he wasn't exhibiting any power. So I told his dad if we get his mechanics down and timing down that he'd have at least 50 feet in him. And here he goes, hits this home run, 75 feet further, his first ever over the fence home run. Hey Coach Noakes, it's me Brandon. I came to you looking for power and after two lessons with you that's what I got because I hit the go ahead home run yesterday for my Little League team and we ended up winning an hour in the championship. I can't wait to see you next time and get even more power. Thanks. I understand that it's hard to believe but in one or two lessons we were able to knock off the rough edges and he hits a second home run. And he's not only developing the power that he was looking for but he's going straight away even oppo power. I couldn't be more proud of Brandon working hard, applying what he's being taught.